Woo! What's up, guys? Rare Spark here, and I'm coming at you with another episode of Spark at the Park, episode 46. And if you see who we're playing with, we're playing with one of the Lob Mob. That is right. We've got Rob Mob Shooting Guard 34, also known as Maria. She's the one girl in Lob Mob. And uh, yeah, we'll see quite a few lobs in this one. That's why this title is going to be called The Lob Mob. In tribute to the lob mob, as you see, I'm starting a game off with a lob of my own to Maria. Nice little lob to start off the game. Rare Rafiki. These guys were Duke fans, I believe, because they had JJ Reddick, Kyle Singler, and uh, Christian Leitner. So these guys were big time Duke fans, and they were also, I guess, fans of good shooters. I'm not really sure, but they knock down the threes early on. They give themselves a two point lead, and it makes us tough for a comeback but we also have matrix panda in here as well so we got a good squad working with us so we're gonna find guys who get open looks unfortunately I couldn't knock that one down tough miss for me I'm playing on my small forward in this one so I'm not playing on my big man so I'm not gonna be getting as many blocks and you know crazy block plays and stuff like that but I'm gonna do my best to try and grab rebounds and play the big man role as a small forward I do, like I said in previous videos I wanted to get a small forward seven foot just so I could feel what it's like to be able to dribble around a little bit and you know have crazy athleticism as you see I try to set a matrix there when I probably should have took it down on my own but what happened was I was trying to lob it up to him and I don't know what happened it just decided to pass it to him maybe maybe it was his momentum or something I get a nice spin move pull the three can't get it to go tough miss for me there so I drop down to the ground out of frustration and rare Rafiki takes it in for the slam so bad defense on my part but early on in the game I'm not too worried about it we're only down three that's a quick one-two punch off the uh, shots here as you see Lob Mob knocking it down getting the two to go and it is now four to five coming back pretty quickly but uh, good defense there, but we get called for the foul. So we got to set it up here and try and do the best we can. Rare Rafiki pulling the three in my face, getting it to go. They are just knocking down three after three early on in this game, and it was making it tough for us in the beginning. But I'm coming down with my own pull-up three, knock it down, way too much room. My signature pull-up three-pointer, and it is six to seven now. I knew we needed a three in that case because with the way the score was going, you kind of need to keep it close. So that's what I was trying to do there with hitting the two. You might hear Matrix and Chris and McBurns talking in the background, but uh, that's because I had my mic out for a little while in this game, and so they they were, it got caught on the recording. I hope you guys don't mind it. I thought it was kind of cool. I was gonna keep it in and like let you guys hear the whole conversation, but I forgot to record myself, so it made it kind of tough. Maria gets another open look for three, knocks it down, eight to seven. We get the lead finally. We're in a good spot to score and try and win this game. Rare Rafiki taking into the lane. I'm having none of it, but he somehow gets it to go anyway and lays it in right in front of me. And that's the biggest difference between a small forward and a power forward, I believe. As I see, I destroy him on the pick and uh, I get to pull up for another three, get it to go, and I am on fire from downtown, 10 to eight now. Ryan the Outlaw trying to do his thing. Can't get that one to go. I'm grabbing the rebound. I'm bringing it down court. Throwing it down to the Lob Mob. They throw the oop to me. And what a slam. 11 to 8. Now, we got a three-point lead. We're feeling good. We're moving the ball. We're finding the open person. And Ryan the Outlaw trying to send it down to his teammate. It goes out of bounds. And unfortunate for them because now they are going to be down big. And I'm lobbing it up to Maria. She slams it home. And now we have a four-point lead. Not bad at all. But again, errant pass by the Dukies. I'm going to call them that because they had all Duke players. So the Dukies end up having two costly turnovers back-to-back. -back, and we're up four at this point. And we're just having fun with it. Matrix pulling up for three. Getting it to go. Good shot from Matrix. He's got his jumper back. So if you see him at the park, do not leave him open from three. He will knock it down. Guaranteed. I believe he had also another game last night where he said he was hitting, I want to say, eight in a row. Something crazy like that. It might have been even more. So eight in a row from Matrix from downtown in another game that I wasn't a part of. But his jumper is definitely back. You see, I get a nice block on one of the Dukies. And Lob Mob sends it out to me. I say, yo, Matrix, cut for the oop. He goes in and lays it up. What a boring oop. Come on, Matrix. I know you can get up more than that. <laughs> 15 to 8 now. We're playing some good defense. We're causing havoc. 
not allowing them to get the ball or an open look from downtown, which they're clearly trying to do. They get an open look here off a screen, and they bring the game back within five. It's 15-10 to 10 now. We really need to start scoring and try and get this game over with. Matrix with a nice, beautiful behind-the-back play. Gets an open look from downtown, and once again, like I said, his jumper is back, so he knocks it down. Ryan the Outlaw kicking it out. Good play from him. Unfortunately, we did not play good defense on that one, and they get an open look from downtown, and they knock it down. So the game is still in within five points. I lob it up to Lob Mom. Oh, snap. Here we go. Maria hit him with that backflip. Oh, nice. And we have both fall down in celebration of that one. Nice little alley -oop play, and I love that animation with the backflip. It's just something fun to have at the park. Matrix lobbing it up to me. I'm slamming it home with a two-handed slam. Nothing fancy on that one, but uh, good enough for one point, and that's what matters. 19 to 12 now. Matrix locking up Pac-Man. Blows by Matrix for just a moment there, but I stop him. Maria with that good defense. Steals the ball off the pass, and now we're running an alley-oop, and oh, my elbow got stuck in the rim. Help me out. <laughs> nice two back-to-back sick animations on these alley-oops at the park but that's not even the best one in my opinion you will see it in just a moment here one more bucket to go and you know we have to end with the oop so what are we going to do matrix is setting it up he's getting hounded by the two defenders here i'm about to cut to the basket and look at this alley-oop between the legs reverse windmill slam i never seen this animation at the park, so I'm going to put it in slow motion once again. I, you might have seen it, but I have not, and I love this play. Baseline, reverse, between the legs, slam. Just a beautiful slam dunk. And we end it with a victory, with the lob mob, with Matrix. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this episode of Spark at the Park. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Rare Spark, out. Ryan Anderson for the free, just a good game from him. Kenny Horton, another newcomer. We were able to move a couple pieces to get him. I had to trade the rookie from the Kings. I forgot his name. I apologize offhand. Ben McLemore, there we go. I had to move Ben McLemore to get Kenny Horton. It was a tough trade to make, but I felt like...